Hello everyone, my name is Bo Alexander and I'm so glad that you're here. Now I normally wouldn't be decorating for Christmas this early in the season, but so many of you have been requesting this video. And I thought after the year we've had, we could definitely use a little sparkle in our lives. We deserve two full months of Christmas time for whichever holiday you celebrate at home. In today's video, I'll take you along with me to shop and source new and affordable holiday decor elements, show you in-depth techniques that I use to decorate and accessorize my Christmas tree like a professional. And showcase a couple DIYable arrangements that I've assembled to create a cohesive and luxurious Christmas display in my space. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and accompany me on this home decor journey. Let me know if you enjoy videos like this by chatting with me in the comments, and don't forget to give me a like or a thumbs up so that I know you would like me to create more videos like this in the future. Also, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at BotoxNow for more day-to-day -day posts and inspiration. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Our first stop of the day is Hobby Lobby. In my opinion, Hobby Lobby tends to have a better selection of faux floral and holiday stems when compared to Michael's. Their quality, in-store sales, and pricing tend to be better too. All of the Christmas and holiday related decor is currently 50% off throughout the store here at Hobby Lobby, whereas it's only 30% off at Michael's. I bought a few of these crystal amaranth stems last year. They are on sale for $5 from $9.99 and add an element of sparkle and shine. The majority of my Christmas tree accessories are in various shades of cream, silver, and gray, so I'm always looking for glitzy stems to add to my collection, especially when they're on sale as a majority of these floral stems and sprays are no more than $5 each. I want to create a centerpiece for my coffee table, and I think these flocked pine branches would be perfect for the job. They're $11 from $21.99, which is a little steep, but they are rather substantial in size and would lend that wintry feel I'm after. These weeping pine branches, too, were rather lifelike. I've yet to find a ready-made garland that I like, so I just may use these in place of one. At $7.50 each, they're a steal, and I'm confident I could work them into an arrangement that would fit into my decor aesthetic. Hobby Lobby has dozens of aisles and shelves worth of these picks and sprays. They can be used for varying arrangements, centerpieces, and wreaths, but I like to use them in my tree to add visual interest, varying texture, and ultimately help balance out and fill the empty areas or holes within the tiered branches. These two were all 50% off, and pro tip, these are a fraction of the cost of full-length stems. Most in this area are around $3 a piece or less on sale, and will aid in evoking that professionally decorated feel that many of us are seeking. Now I do have a star on top of my tree, but I've always wanted to incorporate sprays to elevate the look. They have these silver glitter fern picks for $1.50 each, so I'm definitely going to pick up a handful of these to add some height and dimension to my topper this year. My next stop is Home Goods. If you watched last week's Shop With Me video, you'll know I've been on the lookout for decorative accents to add to my display. I'll be sure to link that video in the cards above in case you missed it. This location had hundreds of ceramic glass, metal, and bottle brush Christmas trees. They also had quite the assortment of tabletop nutcrackers, Santas, angels, and reindeer. One of my favorite brands to shop from Home Goods is Tahari Home. These acrylic reindeer ornaments are beautifully detailed, and at $9.99, they were a steal. I'm a big fan of icicle ornaments too. I think they're a classic that will never go out of style. They also add shimmer and shine to a tree. These were $12.99 for the set of four. I bought similar ornaments to these last year from Home Goods. They have quite an assortment, and at $9.99 for a set of four, they're extremely affordable. I appreciate that antique mercury glass appearance, and believe me when I say that these are solid glass, because they are rather weighty. As you can see, I decided to pick up quite a few picks and stems to DIY my garland. I bought eight of these weeping pine branches and plan to fasten them together with green floral wire and drape them over my TV console to emulate the look of a mantle. 
I did buy a few of these ice pine branches too for $2 each to add as filler to my coffee table centerpiece. This is the green floral wire I'm using to fasten these weeping pine branches together. I'm also using these compound action pliers from Michaels to easily cut the wire. I'm not going to go too far into detail, but you can see that I essentially just wrapped the wire around the stems till all eight were used. Stick around to see the finished project at the end of the video. Now I like to vacuum before setting up my Christmas tree just to make sure that we have a clean space to work in. I have a 7 foot cashmere spruce artificial Christmas tree and it's fashioned in a slim profile. Like most, it comes disassembled in three sections, so the first step will be to assemble and fluff the branches. I grew up with real Christmas trees, nothing compares, but they do require more work and attention than I'm willing to give, and when this particular tree is fluffed, it gives me a solid foundation to build upon. Now I think it goes without saying that fluffing and shaping an artificial Christmas tree is one of the most tedious and crucial undertakings. I typically like to fan the tips of each branch of the bottommost layer of the tree downward, and the subsequent branches upward and out to either side. I use the tips towards the back of each branch to camouflage and hide the tree trunk itself. I continue this process all the way up each section of the tree, making sure to occasionally step back from time to time and assess my work to make sure the branches are dispersed and ensure that there are no empty areas or holes. For a tree of this size, it typically takes me anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour to completely fluff and shape my tree to my liking. Also, you can wear gloves while you fluff and shape your own tree if needed to protect your hands from the needles and branches. I like to add wide mesh ribbon to my Christmas tree. I think it adds a whimsical element, and again it gives it that professionally decorated designer look. Using green floral wire, I make foot-long poofs out of the wide mesh ribbon and secure each end to the base of a tree branch tip. There's many ribbon techniques you can choose from. I prefer the classic wrap and circle the entirety of the tree from top to bottom. I bought this snowflake-shaped tree topper from HomeSense last winter. I want to say it was around $24 if not less, but don't quote me on that. The pearl detailing is what I was drawn to. I thought it was both elegant and unique. Here we have the silver glitter fern picks from Hobby Lobby. I did use all eight that I purchased to create a spray just below my snowflake topper to draw the eye upward and give my tree dimension and added extravagance. I bought these larger silver glitter fern sprays from Hobby Lobby last year for around $5 each and used them to add a layer of texture and shine along the sides of my tree. They jolt upward and out and provide fullness and dimension. These crystal amaranthus stems are one of my favorite tree accessories that I've come across to date. They are completely covered in sparkles and glitter, and the hanging tassels cascade down the front and side of my tree so beautifully. I like to alternate and stagger these draped stems from side to side. Here are a few other decorative picks and stems that I picked up from Hobby Lobby last year, though they had each of these on the shelves this year too. I like my tree to barely peep through all of the filler, again staggering the picks to give my tree more dimension, to fill in the holes, and make the tree appear larger by adding picks throughout the body. Pro tip, the picks should extend beyond the ends of the tree branches and be angled in various directions, upward, straight out, downward, whatever you find most appropriate. I also like to use artificial flowers, in this case these glittery white poinsettias for a non-traditional rendition. Personally, I decorate with a pretty obscene amount of ribbon for Christmas and I prefer the type with wired edges so I have free will to shape and manipulate the ribbon as needed. I bought both of these ribbons last year from Michaels on sale, I want to say they were around 70% off at the time and around $4 each. I try to vary the color, texture, and size of the ribbon I choose. In this case, one has a woven detail and the other glitter. 
If you have neutral or solid colored ornaments, you can easily change your ribbon color year to year and it completely alters the entire color scheme of the tree. The same rules apply to ornaments. I have ornaments in varying sizes and typically try to work the larger bulbs into the sparse areas of my tree. The large glass bulbs you see here are from HomeSense and I want to say they were around $7 each. The glittered bulbs are from the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. They are plastic, but I thought they worked well with the others. Now because I'm detail oriented, I did make sure to buy these decorative ornament hooks. Visually, I think they are more appealing than the standard version that's offered, and these are much sturdier as they are nearly twice as thick. As for my regular sized bulbs, I picked up a couple different sets from HomeSense last year. One that has varying shades of cream and silver, the other tones of Peter and Grey, and I use a combination of the two on my Christmas tree. I also like that they come in varying finishes, some that are glossy and others that are more matte that will reflect and refract light much differently. These are hand-blown glass ornaments by the brand Fitbis that were made in Poland. I would caution or recommend using plastic, however, if you have animals or little ones at home that have easy access to your tree. I want to point out a few other picks and sprays that I've added into this tree display. These we saw at Hobby Lobby, they're the white urchin glitter picks. And I actually bought these silver glittered curly picks from Walmart. I believe they were like a dollar or two each, and I like that they had the metal clip to easily fasten them to a tree branch. That's one thing about Christmas decor, you can find accessories just about anywhere, so keep your eyes peeled. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I love dangling acrylic icicles down the facade of my tree. These are from Home Goods. I made sure to get varying sizes, yet again, smaller and larger, to mix it up a bit visually. They come 6 to a pack, the larger at $16.99 and the smaller at $12.99. I want to show you what they look like outside of the box too. You can see that they are rich with detail and they pick up the light from my Christmas tree and emit a sort of ambient glow at night. And quickly, just because some of you have been asking about the branches I posted in an Instagram photo, I bought these faux spruce stems from Target. They are part of the Magnolia Hearth and Hand collection, and they were $9.99 each for the 46 inch length. I did remove the pine cones that were attached to create a more streamlined and minimalistic look before arranging them in a vase on my dining room table. Now before we dive into the big reveal, I do want to show you how I assemble my coffee table arrangement. I used the frosted pine branches from Hobby Lobby, and same as before with the garland, I bound the two with green floral wire. You can see how easy it is once they're flipped over to join them together. And when all is said and done, it will look a little something like this. So that is it for this week's video, you guys. I am so excited for the holiday season and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to shop and decorate with me. I hope that you continue to feel inspired while sourcing inspiration and decor to elevate your home in your own unique style. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so that you can be notified first for upcoming posts and videos. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and give me a like so that I know you enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye.